What's up all my stock market investors, it is Shadai and I'm back again with another Cash App investing video. Today I'm going to be mentioning a handful of companies that are reporting third quarter earnings this week as earnings season is slowing down. But of course, before I get there, I got to show my appreciation to the first time viewers, the last time viewers, and the people that have been here since day one. I appreciate you all. Just don't forget to hit the thumbs up on the video. Is it getting cold for y'all? Yeah, I got a little sweater on, you know. Georgia, it's not too cold, but, you know, it's a little sweater weather. Let me know in the comments where you're from and let me know if, if it's getting cold in your area yet. Today, we have a handful of companies reporting. Some I'm interested, some I'm possibly not. But I'm going to share a few that I'm interested with you. McDonald's, I am not interested in buying McDonald's stock, but I'm interested to hear how they plan to evolve even more and take their app and bring it to the world in different ways that we've never seen from this type of franchise company. Uh, they've done a lot of partnerships, so I'm interested to hear how they plan to do more partnerships and just how they plan to remodel and evolve the whole McDonald's experience. What if they go to like more of a self-service? You hit a button and you get your burger. You hit a button, you get your fries. That'd be interesting to see. But let me know in the comments if you are interested in McDonald's. I think they're currently trading at like 216 um, I, I don't know what bad news uh, they can expect, but hopefully if you're interested in buying them, there is some bad news so that you can buy it at a better price. <laughs> uh, Simon Properties, I'm very interested in hearing what they have to say um, and what they expect to do, what type of changes they're trying or thinking about doing. We've already had a handful of mall owners uh, file for bankruptcy I'd hate to see Simon file for bankruptcy, but I, I, I need to hear how they plan to evolve the whole mall experience. This could be a stock that maybe, who knows, maybe malls will come back down the road. Bankruptcy doesn't mean everything tumbles. It just means they reorganize and, and shift around some of their bad debt. So stay tuned for Simon. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in buying some Simon to hold long term. Next is Beyond Meat which I've always been interested in beyond me and never got a chance to buy in. But hopefully with this news, it may give me an opportunity. A lot of analysts are talking about all oh, the competition, Impossible Burger, all that. And I think competition is going to be great for this industry. It's going to bring prices down because if you go to the supermarket right now, you try to buy some beyond meat, you look at the regular meat, you look at the beyond meat, you look at the regular meat. Beyond meat's more expensive than the regular meat. And you're like, damn, I might as well just... Regular meat sounds good, doesn't it? if it's cheaper. So hopefully the competition brings some of these prices down and Beyond Meat just needs to continuously focus on their partnerships. So I'm interested to hear what they're going to say about that. Who else are they going to partner with? How else are they going to expand? That's what they need to focus on. And that's what I'm waiting to hear on this earning report. And how could I forget about Plug Power? Um, I got to admit, I actually missed the boat on Plug Power. I told y'all my last, one of my last videos, I said, Hey, this is stock good buying at under, I think it was like under 16, under 15 or something like that. Man, that thing dropped to $14. I didn't buy it. I hesitated. And now it's back up to 18. It's it's a great stock for swing trades. It's a great stock for long-term holds. And what I'm interested to hear is how, how much more they're going to, uh, what they're going to do to bring their products to more customers, more businesses. How they plan to do that you know in the past quarters they haven't always beat expectations i hope they do beat expectations the, the stock has soared over 50 percent over the last handful of months so this is a good one to have in their portfolio i'm still interested in buying so let me know in the comments if you if you made the ship let me know hey throw throw me some rope throw me some rope i'm trying to get on the boat let me know in the comments below. I have to figure out a new number that's good to get at because I don't think it's going to get back to 14. So we'll see. On Tuesday, we have Rocket Companies. Rocket Mortgage, Rocket Companies. I've mentioned them in some of my past videos. I was interested, then I was not interested. Um, I'm on the fence, maybe like many of you, because the housing market is still in limbo. But I think Rocket is going to perform well this quarter. That's my expectation. And that's mainly because there was a lot of single family home sales. There, there just was. Like We have to admit, although commercial properties are going down, single family homes are selling like crazy in the suburbs. 
And I think that that's going to reflect and show in the third quarter earnings report for Rocket. I did mention that I'd like Rocket under 20. It did hit that point at one point, I think a few weeks ago. I missed that buy-in opportunity, but I'm still interested for long-term holds because we all need housing. We all need some form of shelter. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in Rocket, if you're not interested, maybe why, maybe why you are. I just wanna hear it all. I hope y'all appreciate watching this video. Let me know if I missed your favorite company. There were a few other companies that I did report that I didn't report on that are reporting earnings this week. I just they just didn't seem that important to me. <laughs> but I will also mention we have the stocks group chat going on right now. Shoot me a DM above if you're interested in joining the stocks group chat. We're just in there trying to build generational wealth, share uh, resources, share advice, and just ask questions. It's, it's a great just space to just ask any questions, and especially if you're a beginner. So if you're interested, again, please shoot me a DM above and I will send you all the details needed to join. Other than that, I appreciate y'all for watching. I will see y'all tomorrow.